Hello viewers, welcome to Saipedia. First step to success. Subscribe our channel to support our videos. This video deals with professional English, short skill paper, English for Arts and Social Science. Unit 4, Presentation Skills. Book page number 70 to 81. The first topic, listening. Listening to lectures. The first one, read the transcript of APJ Abdul Kalam's speech and answer the questions. So, in the book page number 71, one paragraph kurthirukkaranga, Abdul Kalam sir oda speech. In the speech, IIT Madras 2010 la kurutha speech. In the speech, kapparama ongalukku 5 questions kurthirukkaranga. So, we want to answer 5 questions from the above passage. The first question, what does the author mean when he says, I have seen their hopes, here through their despair. In the question kana answer, Abdul Kalam has had the experience of meeting the youth with different aspirations, pains, struggles and despair. They have something in them which they do not put to good use and that is why they are fond with this different feeling. Second question, what does the author mean by unique you? Answer, by unique you, Abdul Kalam means that everyone has this spark in him which he or she must bring out by working harder and harder so that the fruit out of it could be made into reality. The third question, what does the world around you want you to be according to the passage? Answer, the world around you wants you to be excellent in the particular field where you are working. They work on their dreams with focus and are prepared to take calculated risks. Their only goal is to reach the target whatever may be the challenges lying ahead. So, we have to reach challenges in the world. We have to reach the goal of the world. We have to reach the goal Next fourth question, how according to the author APJ Abdul Kalam, the pursuits of excellence achieved? Answer, the pursuit of excellence can be achieved by working hard towards one's dream even in times of difficulty and managing failures and success in life. So, yeppo namalala and the excellence achieve panna mudiyun pathing na even that is difficulties and failures nammude goal achieve pandradhukku nariya difficulties and failures vandhalum namm adha vidama muyarchi pannanum abdingiradha abdul kalam ode answer a irukku and the fifth question what is the unending life cycle phenomena what the author is referring to answer even as they work towards their targets the young people should strive to work to their potential and in the process. They should increase their performance by multiplying further their many-sided talents. This is an unending life cycle phenomenon according to APJ Abdul Kalam. And the next topic speaking. Short, short talks. Task 1. Having listened to the short talk, on poverty answer the questions page number 72 la ungal ko short passage kuduthirukranga so after reading the passage we want to answer three questions the first question comment on the statement there are enough resources in the world for everyone's need but not for everyone's greed answer the world has all the resources within it man should use them sparingly keeping in mind that they will be needed in future also. Keeping and amassing all the source for oneself will lead to shortage and poverty in turn. This is a bad trend. The law of supply and demand strives for equal distribution of these source to mankind. The second question, does the speaker sympathize with capitalist? Answer, no. He wants equal sharing of wealth and resource to all men and women living in this world. Third question, how does your welfare economy define poverty and respond to it? Answer, poverty is defined as 
lack of access to good education, clean air and living conditions, minimum wages, etc. Welfare economic does not stop with mere lack of food, clothing and shelter, but it is to be extended to more spare concerning man's life and needs. Next topic, reading. Reading activity, page number 73, passage about institution. After reading the passage, we want to answer three questions. The first question, read the given passage and explain how social institutions work. Answer, social institutions should work like a family. Many institutions exist with the aim of providing a specific details required to live. It involves discipline and curbing human emotions and behavior. Second question, write in your own words about any of the social institutions you come across. Answer, the Rotary Club in my town functions like a social institution. It consists of 100 members. It visits every locality in the town and addresses the major issues like water supply and educational welfare. Question number 3. Identify the characteristics of social institutions. Answer. The cluster of social usage, the relative degree of permanence, well-known defined objects, and also institutions or transmitters of social heritage. They are resistant to social changes due to the regularity of beliefs. Next passage 2. Page number 76 long will go a long passage. After reading the passage, we want to answer the following three questions. First question, what is Sanskritization? Answer, it is the process of Hinduism in which the low caste Hindu person or group try to acquire values, ideologies and rituals of high caste Hindu. Second question, explain the connection between religion and caste. Answer, Religion carries caste system and produces subdivisions of these castes. Each caste carries its position in society and treated on the basis of those ranks. Third question, what is meant by dominant caste? Answer, it is any caste that has the power of numerical strength, political power and economic power. Next, writing. In writing topic, we are going to discuss about interpreting whispers. Page number 81, interpreting whispers. So, in the task 1 and 2, render whispers. In task 1, we want to discuss about the first whisper. And in task 2, we are going to discuss about the second whisper. In task 1, global literacy rate patna or map. World map and and the map la global literacy level enna abdingradiyum percentage la left corner la kuduthirukranga and after looking this picture in detail we want to answer five questions the first one which continent has the lowest literacy rate so inga kuduthirukra map pathinga nariya colors kuduthirukranga from dark blue to gray varaiku different colors variations kuduthirukranga and in the color variations refers to the percentage of the literacy rate over color ko percentage allot panirukranga so red color below 35 percentage yellow color 35 to 50 percentage grass green 50 to 60 percentage light green 60 to 70 percentage dark green 70 to 80 percentage sky blue 80 to 90 percentage blue 90 to 97 percentage navy blue above 97 percentage so in the countries in the shade color kuduthirukranga that's why the country has literacy rate in country. The first question, which continent has the lowest literacy rate? So, answer, in the lowest literacy rate, green, yellow, light green, this is the African continent. So, answer, Africa has the lowest literacy rate. Second question, where do you find the highest literacy? North America has the highest literacy rate. Which continent has 100% literacy? North America has 100% literacy. So, North American continent is maximum blue color shade. So, North America has 100% literacy. 
Fourth question, what does the map say about literacy in India? So, India has a literacy rate in India. Literacy in India is between 70 to 80 percentage. Fifth question, comment on literacy in South America. Answer, literacy in South America ranges between 35 to 89 percentage. Task 2, page number 82. What does the picture represent? Write a paragraph on the issue represented. So, in the picture, pathina, boy and girl waited on the scale. Answer, the picture represents a boy and a girl waited on the scale. It impresses the idea that both boy and girl are equal in all respects and they have should be taken care of at every stage in their lives. Both should be given equal opportunities in family position, education, employment, post-marital care, etc. So, this unit 4 oda task answers. Unit 4 and Unit 5 are the long passages. The answer After reading the passage, you can answer the all questions. So, Unit 5 is the same chinna questions. And passages keep the explanation of the answer. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.